We are recording. Oh, I can't memorize for shit. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy, this is gonna take a long time. We have nine pages of material to record. <laughs> I'm gonna get mad. What was it? Damn, we're getting through this paragraph. No, didn't like that. That ain't right. That that ain't right. That is not what I wrote. <laughs> nope. That's not what. Nope. Fuck. I've said this about five fucking times at this point. What is the sentence? The day has finally come. The writers and actor strikes have ended. Both parties have reached deals with the major Hollywood studios and productions are going back to work. For the few of you that have been around since the beginning of the year or even since the end of last year, you might have heard me mention a few times that film and television content was coming your way. And yes, it is finally actually time. Since my major intent is to encourage people to watch these pieces of media, whether someone discovers something new they might like or check something out merely to form their own conclusions about opinions I may have voiced about said media, media, fuck, I wanted to wait in solidarity with the striking workers in the industry. And now that the strikes have ended, the wait is over. But before we fully dive in, I wanted to take a moment to let you guys know what is to come. And to those of you that have found this video via whichever IP I have used, welcome. Uh, I usually live stream here on this channel. We play some video games. Uh, I also, I, I love sports and my, uh, my teams from my city are pretty good. So we do some watch parties sometimes. I'm a Philly girl, my Sixers, my Eagles, my Phillies, the fly, the fly, the Flyers too, but you know, they're, they're having a rough go. <laughs> so, I mean, if any of that interests you, make sure you do all the youtube -y things. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, the like button and, and all that good stuff. It's really appreciated. It helps the channel grow and, uh, let's just get on with it. <laughs> Today, I want to let you know which TV shows I will be covering here. You can think of this video as kind of like a general television recommendation list, but I would love to hear from you guys. For any fans of these shows, if you can remember, how did you discover the show? I'm really curious about that. When we get to videos on the individual shows, I'll probably tell the stories I can remember about discovering these shows, but I'm curious. Let me know down in the comments. And for those of you that haven't seen any of these shows, let me know which ones interest you the most. We're gonna start with one show in particular, but after that, we'll see which one's the most popular and we'll go from there. The first show we are starting with is One Tree Hill. It's perfect for the current demographics of this channel, sports fans that lean heavily male. Now I know teen dramas can get a bad rap and this show certainly isn't free of criticism. But I do know that despite stereotypes, even men love some good drama and this show has plenty of it. Mix that with some pretty great basketball scenes and I promise it won't disappoint. The one barrier I see for people with this show is its size. It's no Grey's Anatomy, but at nine seasons and... 187 episodes? <laughs> it's still quite the undertaking. <laughs> I'll have just the thing to help those of you that are new with the show kind of navigate the seasons without having to commit all of the time and energy into every single episode. So look out for the first of those. It'll be coming soon. One Tree Hill aired for the first time on the WB way back in the fall of 2003. Later, when the WB and UPN merged in the fall of 2006, it became one of the foundational shows of the CW. To describe the show's plot in short, it's a show about brothers. It's a show about brothers. It was set and filmed in North Carolina, which gives the show a true small town feel, especially when compared to the other kind of 
top teen dramas at the time, those being Gossip Girl and The O.C. Currently, you can find the entire series on Hulu, at least here in the U.S. This is a show that I definitely recommend the pilot for. Pretty much every show I love has at least a decent, if not great, pilot. So you're you're going to hear me recommend the pilot, the first episode of the show, most of the time. But this show's pilot is quintessentially One Tree Hill. It ends with a pretty iconic basketball sequence. So definitely check it out, especially if you're a hooper. And if the pilot doesn't do it for you, but maybe it does. And as I said earlier, you don't have the time energy to commit to the whole show. I'll have a video for you fairly soon with a few more episodes to help get you through at least season one. And for any fans of the show, perhaps there's a person in your life that you have tried desperately to try to get into the show. Maybe that video will also interest them. I'm I'm hoping to be able to provide you a dependable roadmap through the seasons without having to commit to all, most of the time, 20 plus episodes. So yeah, That's One Tree Hill. That'll be first. But now let's talk about some other shows we'll eventually cover here. And be sure to let me know down in the comments which of these you're most interested in hearing about. We'll go kind of rapid fire here. My favorite show of all time also is the shortest show on this list. The Good Place. It's a comedy from 2016 that originally aired on NBC and can now currently be found on Netflix. It clocks in at four seasons, 50 episodes, but don't let those mere four seasons fool you. They easily could have brought this show back for more, but for once, a showrunner had a vision and stuck to it, which is probably why I love it so much. It doesn't drag on and not to set too high of expectations, but the ending is so damn satisfying. Love it. Definitely recommend it. Now, if you're someone that's into a little post-apocalyptic scenarios, The 100 is the show for you. The only thing I want to preface this recommendation with is that this show did air originally on the CW. It premiered in 2014 and contains 100 episodes over seven seasons. 100 for the 100? Pretty damn great. The last season sucks. Quite frankly, if you're going to watch this show, I really only, really only recommend seasons one through five. I should save this information for a video once we actually talk about it, but I'm recommending it to you and I I cannot in good faith uh, not warn you about the final season because that season. You hear me? Moving on. But yeah, it contains 100 episodes over seven seasons and you can find it on Netflix. But with it being a CW show, there is a noticeable focus on relationships, especially in the first season, especially like the first half of the first season. So if you can make it to like episode six, I mean, you're not fully in the clear, but the show by episode six really opens up. So if you're going to try it, Episode six is the mile marker. If you make it to that point and you're still like, I don't, I don't fucking get it. Fair. Totally fair. If you do love the show and you keep watching season five's finale works perfectly as a series finale, you're going to have questions. You're going to be tempted to watch season six, depending on who you are. You might enjoy season six. Season six wasn't the worst, but season seven was absolutely fucking hot garbage. And I am trying to protect you. End at season five. Also, fun fact, this TV series is an adaptation of a book series by the same name by author Cass Morgan. I've actually tried at least the first book in the series, but there are a good handful of characters that are completely original to the television production, and some of those are my favorites. So them not being present in the book kind of killed it for me, but uh, maybe someday. I'll give it a better shot. (laughs) But I guess the last parting words I'll have about this show is that it gets wild. Next, for those of you that grew up Disney fans, I like myself, Once Upon a Time might be a show for you. We have quite a big bone or two to pick with this show. We will get there in due time. But at the end of the day, I still do love it. With all my frustrations with it, I still love it. Once originally aired on ABC, premiering in the fall of 2011, it accumulated 156 episodes over seven seasons, and currently it can be found on Disney+. Plus. The show originally aired in a family-friendly time slot on Sunday night, so for any of you out there with kids, if you're looking for a show to watch with your kids, this show is it's it, it, it's pretty good for that. It, it will 
touch on slightly darker topics from time to time, but it aired Sunday night at eight o'clock. So, you know, it only go, it only, it only gets so crazy (laughs) though. Rumpelstiltskin is sure to creep out even grown adults. All right. So next I'm usually not much into zombie media. So this show is definitely an exception for me. I zombie. It's another CW show. It originally premiered in the spring of 2015. And as the title suggests, it's a show about zombies. Like The 100, the show is also an adaptation, this time of a comic book series. The show itself is very much a procedural with a different case of the week kind of every episode. With 71 episodes spanning five seasons, this show is an absolute showcase in leading Lady Rose McIver's acting acumen. But don't sleep on the rest of the cast. They are all spectacular and the show is genuinely so much goddamn fun. My next recommendation is another procedural TV staple that quite frankly has overstayed its welcome just a little bit. (laughs) But I've been rewatching it lately and realizing how much I did enjoy the the show at first and that show is of course Grey's Anatomy premiering in the spring of 2005 it currently sits at a whopping 420 a episodes over 19 seasons and from what I've read the upcoming season season 20 will be its last Grey's has been a flagship program for ABC for well over a decade now and for those who don't know it's a medical drama that follows a group of surgical interns as they navigate the chaos of their hospital the drama on this show is fucking bananas sometimes and there are a plethora of great characters over the seasons and you're bound to spot a familiar face in the hospital's patients from time to time now i would have put this one earlier because it is one of my absolute favorites but i did want to get some of the more exciting stuff out of the way first but if you're looking for something low-key and much more lower stakes i'm gonna recommend gilmore girls if you're out It's a classic that premiered in the fall of 2000, and like One Tree Hill, it aired originally on the WB before having to scoot on over to the CW. And as One Tree Hill is a show about brothers, Gilmore Girls is a show about daughters. It's a small town, slice of life comedy with breakneck dialogue and pre-rocket Sean Gunn. It's not the most enthralling show that I've recommended. But it's seven seasons and 154 episodes with a four episode mini revival season. It's packed with lovable, witty characters. And if a chill, cozy time is what you're looking for, Gilmore Girls is worth a try. Now, I've got a handful of like honorable mentions. If a procedural is what you're into and you're also intrigued by the psychology of criminals, Criminal Minds. Criminal Minds is going to be the show I recommend for you. And for my last scripted television recommendation, it's gonna have to be MTV's Teen Wolf. In my opinion, the show gets a little messy in the later seasons, and there's this distinct MTV-ness about it that can get a little old, but the show overall is pretty damn solid. And if nothing else, you you have to watch the show to experience Styles Stalinsky. What did you find? How did you find it? Where did you find it? And yes, I've had a lot of Adderall, so. And for those reality TV show lovers, I really only watch two reality shows, both of them being competition shows, that being Survivor and The Challenge. They're essentially the same, but also very, very different. (laughs) If you're into survival type things, being out in nature, obviously, I would suggest Survivor. Uh, However, on the flip side of that, if you'd rather watch a bunch of mostly 20-somethings get drunk, flirt, and fight, the challenge will be where it's at for you. Either way, you'll see competitors fight it out in challenges every episode until someone is crowned a winner and rewarded with a lump sum of money. So yeah, that's going to be my TV recommendation list right there. <laughs> As I said, we're going to start with uh, One Tree Hill videos. There are at least two, actually three of them that I, I want to bang out in regards to that particular show first. Uh, so be on the lookout for those. Uh, but after those three, 
I'm up for whichever of these shows y'all want to hear about. So be sure to let me know down in the comments which of these shows intrigued you the most. If you are actually a fan of the show, I definitely want to know how you originally discovered it. And I would also ask, please, 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 please do not leave any like majorly blatant spoilers in your comments. If you need to talk about them for whatever reason, bury them a little bit. I want anybody that hasn't seen the show to go in as spoiler free as possible. <laughs> we will definitely make some spoiler filled videos at some point, but for now, unless I'm specifically talking about major spoilers in a show in a video, try not to comment, at least at the top of your comment, a major spoiler. Don't be a dick, <laughs> okay? <laughs> but yeah, so let me know which of these shows interest you the most. Um, I'll also probably be sprinkling in videos about some of my favorite movies. I don't want to give that whole list away right now, but you know, you might see those pop up. And yeah, that's going to be it for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you've made it all the way to the end and you still have not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. Make sure you like the video. As I've asked already, make sure you leave me a comment and, uh, I will see you guys live here probably very soon. <laughs> I stream a lot here if you are new. <laughs> Bye. Mm. My life, fuck my life. Fuck my life in two pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. Okay, all right. Oh my god. Okay. <clears throat>